Chapter 5, Problem 5.4, on page 151 in your textbook. Gosh, you guys, this problem, um, it, the directions are laid out kind of funky, and the fact that you have to turn the page to get the information for the worksheet on page 152 um, makes it a little hard. We're going to flip back and forth. And the adjustments cross over from page to page. Yeah, just kind of crazy. So uh, first things first, what I've just done here is um, use that blank worksheet that we had in our module. And I plunked in the trial balance numbers and um, got the total. Double checked that I have the right total. So um, back on the steps on page 151, I'm in I'm in step one, instruction number one, complete the worksheet for the month. We're just getting rolling here. Now, the next step after the trial balance is to um, get in the adjusting entries, and we find those um, after steps one, two, and three under the title end of the month adjustments um, must account for the following items. So on adjustment A, supplies were purchased on January, on January 1st, inventory of supplies on January 31st is $1,600. So they're just the first um, part of that supplies were purchased on January 1st. So if you look at what you have in your supplies on um, at the beginning of the month, that would have been the 9750 9, At the end of the month, we only have left 1,600. So we used a bunch of supplies. So we need to reduce supplies by, uh, we only had $1,600 left. So our, uh, we're reducing our supplies by 8,150. And we have to make that um, Matching entry and supplies expense on the debit side. Okay, that takes care of adjustment A. Adjustment B, the prepaid advertising contract was signed on January 1st. Prepaid advertising was 12400 It covers a four-month period. So we need to reduce that by one-fourth. So we'll, we'll do the math over here. So we're going <clears> to, <throat> we're going to, um, I guess I should do it just somewhere else. We need to divide that um, number by four. It doesn't matter where we do the math, I guess. To get our monthly um, advertising expense, $3,100. And then our advertising expense. Oh, did I miss that? Salary supplies. Yep, it should be under fees income. Should be the first one here. Advertising expense. That's going to be $3,100. Okay, and then on the next page, there's two more, C and D. So C says rent of $2,100 expired during the month. We do say pre see prepaid rent up here. It does not say how many months of prepaid that is, but we can figure it out now because we know every month must be $2,100. Anyway, we'll reduce our prepaid rent by $2,100 and we'll have rent expense for $2,100. And then the last one of the adjustments, depreciation is computed using the straight line method. The equipment has an estimated useful life of 10 years with no salvage value. So the equipment is being um, depreciated over 10 years. 
and we want to have accumulated depreciation for the equipment. It's a contra asset, so it goes on the wrong side. And we're going to take our equipment, divide it by 10 years, and then divide it by 12 months. So $280 per month of accumulated depreciation. Yo, I'm putting that on the wrong side. Sorry, guys. Accumulated depreciation equipment the credit. Do that one more time. Equipment divided by 10 years, divided by 12 months, $280. And then our depreciation expense for the equipment, $280. Okay, that's the four adjustments. What we want to do next is make sure we have equ um, equaling columns there, 13630 